FileCenter DMS is the most fully featured and affordable document management software for offices of all sizes. FileCenter DMS is also your fastest path to organize documents and photos. For over 15 years, FileCenter DMS has made it easy for over 50,000 organized users to scan, manage, and find their files. Today, FileCenter DMS is also the best choice to organize, protect, and share your precious photos. I will demonstrate how and why in this video. But first, consider this. For the entire 20th century, paper was king. Paper documents, paper money, and photographic paper. Today, technology is rapidly disposing that king. File Center offers the perfect solution. Whether you have boxes and albums of physical photos, or have digital photos scattered among different hard drives, smartphones, and social media platforms. Most of us have a combination of both. The glory days of film photography reached its apex and downfall in the year 2000. That year, Kodak announced that consumers around the world had taken 80 billion photos, setting a new all-time record. However, 20 years later, and with the explosion of digital photography, humanity has ellipsed that record by more than 20 times. The year 2000 not only marked the downfall of film photography, but also many other industries. If I told you 21 years ago that all the products you see pictured here would someday fit in my pocket, you would have told me I was crazy. Although film photography is virtually gone, we are still left with managing the paper photos left behind. Photos can best be managed by digitizing them. The fastest way to do this is by scanning. Start by organizing your photos by their paper size. I found that most of my photos came in the five sizes seen here. File Center allows you to create different profiles for each paper size. As you can see, you can name the photos. I'm using a high-speed Canon scanner. My standard profile creates a black and white PDF US letter size that automatically diskews each page as it is scanned. The first drop-down shows the type of files that a scanned document or photo can be saved as. The next drop-down shows the choices of color, black and white, or gray to pick from. From the profile drop-down, you can see I've created five different family photo profiles to choose from. Each family profile makes it easy to scan based on the size of the photograph. When I choose the family photograph, three and a half by five inches, watch what happens. The type is no longer a PDF, but is now a JPEG. The color now is 24 bit. And the paper size is no longer US letter size, but is ISO B7, which is three and a half by five inches. As you can see, it's easy to change profiles. I will keep this profile setting of 8 by 10 inches to demonstrate. Ashley is going to scan four photos, each 8 by 10 inches in size. This Canon scanner can scan 60 pages per minute. The four photos are now safely inside File Center. Once digitized, photos can be easily organized by family members, holidays, 
travel locations, or however you wish to do so. I will now demonstrate how easy it is to share files. My daughter Lindsay would like a copy of each of these four photos just scanned. These photos reside safely inside the photos cabinet, the family drawer, and the portraits folder. I am now changing to my OneDrive cabinet. My OneDrive cabinet is in the cloud. File Center works with popular cloud services like Google Drive, OneDrive, and Dropbox. You can see I've created a folder for many of my family members. I click back to my photos cabinet on my hard drive. I then click on split. This is a great feature that allows me to view and work with two different locations at the same time. As you can see, the bottom screen also shows I am in the photos cabinet. I will change the bottom screen to OneDrive. I click on Lindsay's folder up in the OneDrive cloud. I then change the display of the four photos from enhanced thumbnails to list to make it easier to work with. I next highlight the four photos and then choose to copy them to Lindsay's OneDrive folder. I have also logged into my OneDrive account in the browser. You can see the four photos also show there. From the browser, I can share the Lindsay's folder with Lindsay by entering her email address and then clicking send. If I did that, Lindsay would have access to just that folder containing the four photos she asked for. Finally, I will unsplit the file center screen and change the display back to enhanced thumbnails. I will show one more quick example by scanning in 13 photos, all 4 by 6 inches in size. Finally, I will demonstrate how easy it is to capture photos to File Center from anywhere in the world using a smartphone. I will start by creating for me a folder in OneDrive. As I do that, you can see the folder for Paul automatically shows up inside File Center. Now just to show you it goes both ways, I'll create a folder for Tyler from inside File Center that will automatically show up in OneDrive. With my smartphone, I will now take a photo. Using the OneDrive app, I quickly identify where I want the photo to appear inside File Center. I take the photo and save it to Paul's folder. Back inside File Center and OneDrive, you will see the photo appear. There it shows inside the OneDrive browser, and there it shows inside File Center.
I will click on the file to open it so I can crop it. I save the changes and name it simply copy. I now have two photos inside OneDrive. I want to move them out of my OneDrive cabinet in the cloud into my photos cabinet on my hard drive. As you can see, it is very easy to do. By moving the photos, both files no longer exist up in OneDrive. File Center DMS, your fastest path to organized documents and photos.